Callaways, easy to use mobile phones for visually impaired people. So welcome everybody to uh, Galloway's Know How. It's it's Andrew, and I'm also joined by Jenny. So Jenny, hi kid, hi Jenny. <laughs> hi. <laughs> In digital services, um, and we've got Louise there as well, who's um, who's helping us today. Are you there, Lou? Yeah, I'm here. There we go. So every everybody's here. <laughs> so yeah, today we're looking at um, we're looking at some kind of easy to use uh, mobile phones. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more compact um, and not maybe something that's got a touch screen on it and has got all those bells and whistles of of, of, of the internet, um, you might just want something for taking on holiday or to the beach. Um, you know, if that's it, we get to go on holiday this year, um, then you might want something just a little bit bit easier to use. And we've got some, uh, we've got four different mobile phones to take a look at today. Only very briefly. I'm not going to go into huge detail, but it's to highlight basically what's on the market. These are all um, specialised mobile phones that are available from um, from specialised suppliers, um, such as the RNIB, uh, Cobalt, and Sight and Sound Technology. Um, and uh, I'm lucky to, to have them all here with me today. I've got four phones in front of me um, and we're just going to go through them one by one, um, show some basic show some basic features um, of the phones. Um, and, uh, and then at the end, um, you know, if anybody's got any questions, uh, please, please do ask. And uh, we may even, you know, delve into these, um, you know, in further detail in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the ones for now that I don't want to talk about yet. Uh, and I'm going to go to over to Louise, um, who's going to introduce uh, a phone called the Comfort, and it's from Emporia. So um, the phone that's on the screen now, um, Andrew just said it's the Emporia Comfort mobile phone. It's available to buy on the RNIB um, online shop, or I think you can call up to order it, Andrew. Um, yeah. And the price of this phone is £58.33, exclusive of VAT. So Emporium have designed this phone with simplicity in mind, and it's a clamshell mobile phone, so it means it's, it opens and there's a screen and then a keypad, and then they, they can close down like a clamshell which is what um, i'm just, just doing now I'm just opening and close so i've cl i've closed it uh it's got a little led display on the front with the time and i'm just opening it so it is uh they call it is it a glam like it's a glam shell wow. yes. like it's glam like it's glamorous yes <laughs> yeah it's very much like a the original star trek um uh communicator devices that they had where kirk used to flip it and talk to it Ah, okay. <laughs> so this mobile phone has got um some accessible features. It's got a two point four inch um display screen with um large text and excellent contrast. Um, the talking keys speak the numbers as you input them, and it also has three direct memory buttons so that you'd have a quick dial for the most used numbers. And it can go from text size seventeen font, seventeen point font, or twenty up to twenty six. Um, so it just depends. If it's up to the top, it's saying that obviously you'll have to like scroll down. Um, if it's at the if it's at the larger size font, um, we've got extra large illuminated buttons. It's got an emergency call function. It's got loud and clear sounds suitable for the hard of hearing. Three speed dial keys, which I've just mentioned. Voice announcement function and a simpler text input using predictive text. Yeah. OK, thanks, Louise. So as you can see, um, this this phone here um, is hopefully you can all see it on, on, on the screen. Um, it is it, it's it's nice. It's quite light. It, it's not heavy at all. It's easy to close. I've just closed the phone now and it's got the time uh, 1414. 
on the screen. I made sure I had that right. Um, and it's also got um, a camera. It's got a camera on the back there as well. Um, it's a very, very basic uh, functional feature phone, which essentially you're just going to use for, um, for calling, texting, storing your contacts in your phone. Um, the, nice, the nice thing about it, um, again, it's very much high contrast. So the keys are, are quite nice. Uh, you know, we've got black yeah. keys with white text. Um, it's quite colourful. It's quite, you know, it's quite tactile. Um, you might, you could, you, you can actually put bump ons on this phone, and it still will close. There's enough of a gap in the phone for for for, for that to work. You want to put bump ons on it. Um, and again, the menus are quite big. So, for example, if I was to press the um, the the menu button, there's a menu button at the top here. Um, it's very kind of um, pictorial. Um, this phone. So the menus on this particular phone don't speak. Um, this is mainly for people with low vision. I'm going to be talking about a talking phone because um, the rest of the phones that I'm going to show you in a minute all talk. So this this is the only one that doesn't really talk other than for the numbers and things. So this one we can we can navigate by using the arrows. Um, there's an up and down arrow. Um, on the screen, uh, on the keypad. So we can use those to go up and down the menus. And for example, if, if, I, go, if I go to contacts, it kind of highlights the, the contacts with a, a, an orange kind of border to highlight that, that you're on the contacts. And if I press the green phone button, that will enter the contacts menu. And in here, this is where you really do see the large print of the phone. So because because what the large size is that? That's the largest size. So okay. I've got that on on large, which I'm suspecting is what they're saying is 26. Yeah. Um, and because it's this big, um, it can't fit all the text on the screen at once. Um, so it's got it. It slowly scrolls the text across the screen, um, as it's there. Um, I can go to uh, search for a contact. Add a contact, edit, edit a contact. But I'm just going to go to search and press the green button. And then it will come up with uh, contacts in the menu. I've only got two contacts in here at the moment. So I've got, I've got Andrew and I've got John. Uh, and of course, if I wanted to call one of those contacts, I would press the, the, the green button. And it's going to tell me I can't call because I've not got a SIM card in this phone. It's just for demonstration. But essentially, that would call that particular contact contact if I'd um, had a SIM card in the phone. There's a cancel and go back. Andrew, I had one similar to that, but it wasn't adapted at all. And I can't remember the name of it, but it was dead easy to use. Yeah. Um, before I got my my fancy phone, as I could call it. Um, and it was very <laughs> much like this. It was brilliant. It was really yeah. good. Yeah, it might have been a Doro or it could have been, Doro. Um, yeah, Doro. could have been a Doro yeah. type of phone. Yeah. Th yeah. th this phone lends itself to like a, a lot larger text size um, than the Doros did. So you might find this, you know, easier to see and use. I can, I can press the, um, the, 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 the red cancel button. That'll take me back a step in, uh, on, on the menu. And now I'm back on the main page now where I've got the time. When you use the keypad, the the numbers do come up uh, quite quite large. That's a large as they come up on this on this particular phone. Um, so the numbers come up, and that's if you want to you know you want to make a call um, if you if you know a number off by heart. Um, for texting and and sending messages and and and, and things like that, um, you have to use the T nine function on the key on the keypad where. You would, for example, if you were to spell my name Andy, you'd press number two twice. You'd press number two once for A. You'd press number six twice for N. You'd press um, mm. number three once for D, and then you'd press uh, number nine three times for Y. That's like the old style kind of uh, back in the day when I was a kid. That's how you texted using the T T nine fu function. Showing your age um, now. I know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I remember the days of having a Motorola phone. They were they were the in thing when I was a kid. The Motorola yep. with very the, similar uh, with, to this with the aerials that yep. used to uh, flash. Used to get them off the market and used to flash in the range of phone. Look cool. Remember them? Yep. 
Looked like, looked like, a, house brick. Looked like a house brick. No, yeah, no, they did. They were, they did. mine was not much bigger than this clamshell. Yeah. All right. Oh well, you know, in the old, I remember so, the old mobile phones. Like I said, they were like a house brick. Can they I were, ask you, they? Andrew, do they all do they all run off the same number that you've already got? Uh, no, you'd have to have you a different number. You would have, you have to have, to have, have a different number. number. Yeah. Um, as I say, this what I like about these ones, these Emporia ones, the, the company that makes this phone's Emporia, there's actually a power button at the bottom of the phone uh, by two tactile markings. So it's very, very easy to find the, I'll just get it in focus, the power button at the yeah. bottom of the phone. Yeah, and go. that makes them quite easy to switch on and off. Um you can use it in one hand, which I think is quite important as well. You know, you, you know, you don't need to have two hands to use the keypad. You can quite easily get around, well, I can with my thumb, uh, get around the keypad quite easily. And as I said before, I'm not going to go into great detail. It's just a quick, we're just going through a quick stop tour of the, the kind of the four most kind of easy to use accessible mobile phones. So that is the, uh, the that's the Emporia uh, Comfort. Just um, quickly on that, Andrew, the grip yeah. on it, how, because obviously for some people, especially if they're arthritic or things like that, the grip yeah. itself, how easy is it? How is it sliding in your hands? Has it got quite a matte um, finish to stop it? Because like modern, yeah. modern um, touchscreen ones, when they've not yeah. got a case on, are really, really slippy and slidey. Yeah, um, yeah, and people yeah. tend to put cases on them to stop that. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. You can't really get these types of phones. You don't. You 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 would try have to try and find some generic case to go on it to make it work. Really, they don't really have an official case for this model of phone. I don't believe. And um, I'm, I don't know. It it doesn't feel very slippy. I mean, I can hold it on an angle, and it's not slipping out my hand. Really, it's yeah. uh, mainly plastic on the back. You know, but it doesn't feel too slippy. Um, yeah, it's it, yeah, it's not not as slippy as a smartphone. Yeah. Like obviously the iPhones are, are, are recently been made of glass, and that they've yeah. felt quite slippy, haven't they? It's like, <laughs> yes. Oh, that sounds like you. That sounds like you've dropped your iPhone. I drop stage. it every day. Yeah, <laughs> without fail. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. So I'm going to move on from this one. So that is the that's the Emporia um, Comfort Phone from R and I B. Uh, you can get that from RNIB. I think it's exclusive to RNIB at the moment. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. You can get that. The next one that Louise is going to introduce is the Emporia. Again, it's it's made by Emporia. Uh, and this one is called the, the Talk Active. So I'll let Louise introduce that one. Um, so quite, quite similar to the phone Andrew just previously shown, the Emporia Talk Active is an elegant clamshell, which has got voice assistance feature. So it'll make it easier to stay in touch via phone calls and messages. Um, the new messages are announced as they arrive and read out when you choose to listen. Um, when you want to reply, the phone will read back the keys as you input the text and read back the finished message before you send it. Again, it's designed with simplicity in mind. Um, it's got larger text and excellent contrast on the display. Um, it's got the emergency call function, um, like the previous phone. It's all got two direct memory buttons for your motion. It's very similar um, to the previous phone that Andrew's just um, just shown you and spoke about. Um, the, this is, again, from the RNIB. And um, the price of this one is 125, um, exclusive of VAT. Um, it's a 4G mobile phone, Andrew. I don't know whether that is any different to the previous one that you that you've just done. Yeah. So with it being 4G, it's got um, it's got a much higher uh, call quality to the audio um, because it's operating over the frequency of uh, of 4G. Um, so um, it, 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 you do get a much crisper, you know, audio uh, using this phone. You know, you've got better chance of getting a better signal as well at times if you're in a 4G area. So if you are in a 4G area where you can receive 4G as to 3G, most people can receive 3G throughout the UK. Um, if you live in a 4G area, then you're going to get a better signal to this phone. 
Um, so certainly like in, in Lancashire and Sefton and Liverpool where I live, we do get 4G in, in you know, in our, in our areas. Yeah. So that, that's, that, that's where this is kind of a lot of older, a lot of phones like this don't really don't have 4G, but this one does. So it's quite nice that it, that it has that. Um, I've just taken off the plastic um, protective bit off the screen because it was a bit glary and I've been dying to peel that off. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> so um, this one is a bit more expensive, obviously, than its counterpart, the uh, the Comfort from Emporia. This Emporia Talk Active is obviously a little bit more expensive because it actually talks. Um, now, the one thing it doesn't do, it doesn't let you give it voice instructions. When it talks about the the voice assistant is the fact that the phone will actually talk as you navigate the menus on the phone. So it's got similar features to the previous model, but the fact that they actually all talk. Um, the keypad, as Louise said before, is very much similar, the same. Um, it's got a power button at the bottom there. Um, it's, a, it's a clamshell. It's actually a little bit smaller than the Comfort. So um, the display size actually on the screen the display screen is, for me, it's ever so much, a little tiny bit smaller, I, I, mm. I believe. I might be wrong, actually. Yeah, no. But it looks a little bit smaller. But of yeah, course, it is, it is smaller. Yeah. It looks more rectangular, whereas yeah. the one looks a little bit more square. Yeah. But, of course, with this one, when I press the menu button, hopefully you'll be able to hear this. Messages. Photo album. Can you hear that, guys? Yeah. Tools. Contacts. Call history. Settings. Messages. Photo album. Tools. Contacts. So I'm using the menu up and down buttons to navigate through the phone. So the thing with this phone is you can't actually um, change the, um, the text size. So this phone very much re relies on the fact that you would use this as an audible phone. Um, for the, you know, with the voice assistant, so you can, you know, you can use this um, without needing to actually look at the screen, which I think is quite important um, if you're looking for a phone, a basic phone that does speak. So I'm going to go to contacts. Call history, contacts. Search for name. Add contact. Edit contact. Delete. Import export. My number. Speed dial keys. So as you can hear, all the menu talks. Delete. Edit contact. Add contact. Search for name. I'm going to go search for name. Andy. John. And I've got Andy and John in the contacts there. So if I wanted uh, Andy, Andy, and I'll press the green button. And now that's actually making a call. I'll just cancel that. So it doesn't make the call. So we just made a call there. And then if we um, if we go to the normal keypad and we type some numbers. Zero, four, five, four, five. They all talk as well as you, as you type the numbers in. And if I was to go to a text message, let me go to a text message. Messages. Write message. History. Message settings. Okay. History. I will go to, let me just go back into there. Photo album, messages, settings, messages, write message, history. I'll go to history. Plus four, four, seven, five, Which is a strange one because normally I would expect it to say six, inbox or read messages, but on this phone it's called history, which is a bit different. Um, all the all the messages in here are from the um, the, 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 the provider, the, the telephone provider, so I'll go and open one of them. Nope. Okay, let's open that one. DHL, your parcel is arriving. Track here. HTTP colon slash slash optimizer .il slash <laughs> I don't think that's a real DHL parcel because I haven't ordered anything from DHL. <laughs> Let me cancel that. So it's your turn to be getting those messages, hey? Yeah, as I opened this, the, there was a call coming through as well. I've just cancelled it. So, yeah, you can read your messages with the up and down arrow. So let me just go back and then open the message again. Let's see what it says. Add on your phone. You'll need an add on or pack. 
Click here to buy http colon slash slash at dash on daddy dot co dot uk slash text. So that is that's actually reading the, the, the message back to me. So all of your text messages will be read aloud with this phone um, when you open the, the message. So um, all, all those are read back to you. And then when you want to write a message, I'll go to write message. Okay. Um, we can then start to type a message. So as I press the keys... I've just written the word hello. So if I <laughs> just go back there, um, I've just written the word um, hello in, into the phone. Hello. And if I tap any of the three keys at the bottom, the three, um, these white keys um, just underneath the keypad, which are kind of your, your, your contacts key, your camera key, um, and and um, I'm not sure what that key, the, that right key does there. But if I tap any of those, Hello. that will read the message I've just I've just typed, basically. Yeah, I think so, that last key, Andrew, is the second contact stored contact number key. I think yeah, I think it's kind of like your some of your 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 quick your quick dials as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I can do it. I think I have to do a. I can do a space. I'll put something else in. Uh, oh, okay. And put. Uh, oh, I'll delete that. Let me delete those. Delete, 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 delete. Even I'm not used to texting with me phone. Um, <laughs> so it is a it is a T9 function keypad. So you, again, if I type my name, press the 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 uh, the M twice, uh, the number six twice, M -M. then the three D. for D, and then the nine for Andy. And there's my name, Andy. And then obviously I could, I'll be here forever typing these messages out for you to listen to. But Which is the space the, button. The space button is the zero at the bottom of the screen. Thanks, Jenny, for pulling me up on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the space button is the zero at the bottom of the screen. So that's how you do your spaces with the text messages as well. Um, so again, every uh, so it, the whole phone, this whole phone will talk back to you. There are other, there are other things in the phone that you know that you can use as well. There's like a there's a birthday. Let's have a little look. So there's a photo album because you can take pictures with it. Um, there's a, a tools area. I'll go there in a minute. You've got your contacts, call history, and your settings. Um, if we go to tools, there's an alarm clock. Birthday reminder. Well, oh, you need to remember someone's birthday. Calendar. A calendar. Calculator. A calculator. Camera. A camera. That's where the camera is. And Bluetooth as well. So if you use headphones like wireless headphones, you can actually connect them to this um, phone via Bluetooth. Does it have a headphone jack? It does. It does have. Um, it, I think it does have a headphone jack. Actually, that's a really good, uh, oh, just... a really good point. No, it, it doesn't actually, but it comes with uh, USB headphones that come with it in the box. So okay. you don't have a headphone jack, but you have you mm -hmm. have headphones with the the USB um, connector. So the the headphones with the USB connection on the end, and you you get those in the box. So you can use those with the phone. Um, as we know, with a lot of phones, they've been taking out the uh, the headphone jack. Um, notoriously, the iPhone. Um, we lost that a good three or four years ago, didn't we? The headphone jack, which you know a lot yeah. of people don't like. Um, so, so that is the uh, Emporia, and that's the Talk Active. Okay, um, and again, that's as Louise said, that can be purchased from the RNIB. And I think that's exclusive to the RNIB as well, that particular phone. Okay, so they're the first two phones I wanted to talk about. The very kind of feature phones, really. They only do, you know, a couple of things. Um, if you want a phone that that if you want um, a phone that is going to give you some more bells and whistles and some and some more things like speech recognition as well, built into a phone. Um, then we we have the next one along. I'm going to show you is a phone 
that you can buy from uh, Cobalt Systems, and it's uh, this one is called the Blind Shell. So I'll let Louise introduce that. And this um, this fur in the Blind Shell, um, which can be purchased from Cobalt. It's an all keypad button phone and all and the functions are spoken. It's very easy to use. It can be controlled by either keypad or spoken commands. Voice recognition allows sorry, I've just had something pop up on my screen. Um, voice recognition allows spoken input for many functions, including text, email, calendar, and address book. Um, sent and received text and emails are spoken. The calendar and calculator. Um, the, it's got an internet and FM radios. Adjustable text and screen colours. Adjustable text size. It's got an alarm. It's got a timer. It's got a voice recorder. Um, a colour indicator. A music player and a book reader. It'll have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. Um, it accepts two SIM cards. If you you explain that in a second, Andrew. Um, an SOS emergency button. Ten speed dial buttons. Local weather um, and location finder. Spoken object tagging using included labels. Spoken interactive tutorial available. Comes with a two year warranty and a free lifetime update. Voice input requires a data roaming or a Wi Fi. And spoken information, including text and emails, does not require data roaming or Wi Fi. Wow. The phone comes with a charging cradle, which makes charging the phone very easy and more simple and it's also it's available in either black or red and that is priced at 299 pound expat okay so yeah we've gone up in price now um, and as you can you can hear this phone has got a lot more bells and whistles to it uh, but most notably i would say for me that one of the benefits you're going to get with this phone is it does have a bigger screen it is a little bit louder it's a, it's a lot more customizable especially with the menus. But for me, the ultimate thing is being able to use uh, voice recognition uh, to do things like send text messages, um, make a phone call and things like that. But what I'll do first is just quickly show you the, the keypad is actually smaller. It's more compact. It is high contrast. I got the red version of the phone. No guesses to why I got the red version. And um, we've we've got kind of a, a multi-directional keypad with a button in the middle of it, in the middle of the phone, like an enter button. And there's more of these, like the per, the perimeter around the enter button is multi-directional, so you can press that left, right, up, down. Um, and we've got some uh, volume down, volume up keys um, just underneath the screen. And then underneath those keys on either side, we've got a call button, like a green button that we'll call. And at the other side, we've got a red button. And again, the enter button and the directional button is in the, is in the middle of those keys. And then the keypad is underneath. There's also like a, I don't know, like a, like a plasticky bump um, just above the keypad, which is almost like a tactile marking so that you know um, where, where the screen is and where the keypad is. It kind of divides them. Um, and on the back of the phone, uh, we've got the camera. Uh, there's a sound um, hole there for the sound when you, the phone rings so you can hear it. And there's that emergency button at the back that you can customise if you need to make you know, an emergency call to, to family members or let them know that, you're, that, you, that you need help. Um, I'll switch the phone on. It's on standby, but I'll just, I'll just press the phone on with the, the red cancel button. April 2021. And the difference with this phone is it uses the whole screen. So when when we use the multi-directional button to go left and right, 
um, it will display that menu item on one screen. It won't give you a list, if you like, like a list format like we have with the other phones. So basically on the screen at the moment, we've, it says call. If I, if I press the, the button to go to the right, messages two of nine. we've got messages. Contacts three of nine. More applications four of nine. Settings five of nine. Status information six of nine. Manual seven of nine. No notifications eight of nine. Turn off the phone nine of nine. Call one of nine. I'm about to call. So it's really actually quite nice the, the, the way this is kind of simplified. Um, that you know what, what, whatever you hear on the on the on the phone is literally just displayed on the screen. So if we wanted to make a phone call, for example, uh, we're on the call menu. I'll press the middle button. Dial contact one of five, and it will get it will say things like dial contact, and then it will say one of five. That means you know there's five options in this menu. So we've got dial contact. Dial number two of five. Dial number. Five. That's block numbers if you there's someone you don't like and you don't want them to ring you. Dial contact one of five. So I'm going to dial a contact. So I'll press OK. I'll press the middle button on that to select it. Sukol, one of eight. Jane Dobson, two of eight. Jenny, three of eight. Joe, four of eight. Jenny, three of eight. Should we ring Jenny? <laughs> so no, you give the... me enough jobs to do. <laughs> <laughs> I just press the I've just pressed the enter button on Jenny. And then I can dial. Dial. Error. There's no SIM card inserted in the phone. Okay. So there is no SIM card. So that's why that, that won't work. So that's how we've done that. So we can actually do that dial there using the keypad. But this is where the phone becomes its. This is where the advantage becomes in getting this phone. If I go back to the very beginning. Okay. If I hold the, the left hand button at the top left hand corner of the keypad and I hold that in. It says, I listen after a beep. So it's actually using um, your the SIM card. If you've got the, you, you know, you do need some internet access for your SIM card. Or if you're on Wi-Fi at home, it will use that as well if it, once you've set it up. Well, basically, you can use your voice now. So I'm going to hold this in. I listen after a beep. Network error. Oh, let me try that again. I'll do that again. I listen after a beep. Call Jenny. So that would have made the call um, if there had been a SIM card in the phone. But instead of having to go through all the menu options to find Jenny, I could literally just do call Jenny. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, send a text uh, text Jenny. Okay, so I'm going to hold that in. Send a text message to Jenny. Opening text message for Jenny. Dictate your message. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Would you like to meet for a coffee? Just, it's just thinking. To Jenny, text. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Would you like to meet for a coffee? Do you want to send this message? Okay, so then what I can do is I can press the enter button. Network is not available. And then it would have sent, and then it, and, uh, and now I can send the message. Save to drafts. Save to drafts discard or discard it. But I'll send it. So I'll just mm -hmm. hit the enter button. And of course, it's not going to send because I haven't got the SIM, I have a SIM card in the phone. But basically, that's how you can use this phone with your voice. Um, so it's, it's, it's really, really easy to do. It's just holding the top left hand button on the keypad and then speaking that, 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 that command in. But, you, you know, you can also do it other ways. So what you can do, I'll just come out of this message. I can go to the message menu. I can write an SMS. We'll send it to Sue Cole, whoever Sue Cole is. I just made these up. Text. And now I'm in the I'm now in the the text message area where I can write it. Now I can use the number pad if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. 
and do all that with the number pad and type the letters in. But I don't want to, I can't be bothered doing that. So what I'm going to do again is hold that, that text input, that voice recognition button. So I'll hold that in for, for a second. Hello, how are you? Just give that a second to to do its thing, and what you can do if it once it vibrates and you're happy with what you've said, if you press the enter button, Hello, how are you? it puts that text in the message for you, ready to send, and then you can then just follow the steps to send uh, send that particular message. So I'm going to say send message, Network, and of course it's not going to go because I've got no SIM card in it. So I really like that with this phone. That's why this is actually using Google, uh, Google speech recognition um, to make this happen. So it's a very, very easy to use mobile phone with that really important speech recognition function built in. I'll just delete that. Now, unfortunately, um, the, the, um, the, if you want speech recognition, this is kind of your starting point with this phone because the Emporia phones don't have speech recognition built in. The, the, the Emporia uh, Talk Active will talk to you, but you can't talk your message in. So that's where this phone, um, the blind shell, comes into its own with having that speech recognition function. And very quickly, if I go to more, more applications, We've got lots of other things in here um, that, that you can use as well. So, for example, there is an internet browser that you can use to, to browse the web. Um, you've got media. So, if I go into there, um, there's a music player, internet radio, and that's quite easy to use. So, if I go into internet radio, popular stations, two of six. I'll go to popular stations Loading. and that'll load some okay minus seven oh I like a bit of Motown, minus seven Motown. <laughs> excuse me hey. for interrupting but you wouldn't need synaptics on that Andrew would you um, well, say that again. Um, sorry, G uh, um, uh, Jean. You don't need synaptics on that. No, no, it's completely yeah, completely different phone altogether. So it is yeah. its own. It is its own thing. You can search for. Um, you can. It, it's a little bit similar the way you can do the radio stations. So you, you can search for radio stations as well if you want to. Um, but it's it's just got that built in. There's also an. Um, YouTube, you can watch YouTube videos through, through it as well. There's an FM radio. There's the FM radio. And you've got your camera. And then you can, have, you can read your images as well that you've taken from your camera. When you access the internet then and you wanted to log on to your email, say, um, will it read that back to you just as easily as it's reading text it messages? Yeah, it will. So I don't have the email set up on this phone, but if you go to um, communication, you've got email, Fab. and you can you can actually add your existing email to this, and it will show up like it does with a text message. Basically, just raw text, like maybe you'd get with Synaptic as well. It'll just make it super yeah. easy to use. And can, I suppose can you, store, can you store your camera images? Can you store your photographs? You can, yeah, yeah. So um, just going back to the media, media bit. You've got your camera. So I think it's just like, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's about a three megapixel camera. I can't remember uh, exactly what it is. If I try and take a picture of the, the Apple on the Apple Mac there, I've just taken a little picture and it's just took the picture. Uh, and then what I can do is go to view images. And there's my image that I've just taken a picture of. So you can, yeah, you can use it as a, you can use it as a, as a camera. Um, now I'll come out of there because the other thing as well that you can do, there are, there's a section called vision aids. Okay. 
and there's a colour indicator. Localization that'll just tell you where you are. And there's something called object tagging. Now, I'm not going to go into it today, but basically, you can buy little barcode stickers. Uh, you do get some with the phone as well. And you can scan these barcodes with the phone and then give them a voice label or give them a text label so that when you come back to an object again, you can read one of your tags, one of your barcodes. It might be on a tin or a key ring that you'll use to identify something. A little bit like using a pen friend, but you can yeah. use the phone to do it instead. Uh, and that's called object tagging. And again, I'm only kind of doing a brief look on the phones, but I'm happy to go into de more detail in the future if people want me to. Uh, but yes, you can do... It's quite good, actually, the way it works. It doesn't require the internet. It's literally using like a QR code. Um, and it works really, really well. Um, so that's that's the object tagging. So there's lots of I'd other like, bells I'd, and I'd, whistles. I'd very much like that, but it's, it, I'm just thinking about getting the stuff off your telephone onto that and getting used to another phone. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. No, I get that. I get that. You can. That's something you can do with your SIM card. You know, you can do that with your SIM card. You can change them. The, just one before I move on, the one thing I'd say, in the settings... You've got lots of customization. You can change the voice. You can change. Um, you can change the sounds. You can change the display. So if I go into display, you can change the brightness, the color scheme. If you prefer a different color scheme, you can have black on white, white on blue, black on yellow, and back to white on black. So you can have some different colours there as well. And you can also change the um, come up back that main menu style. So, for example, you can have only text, icons only, or icons and text. So if we do that one. Now, when you're on the main menu, you get smaller text at the top where it says call but you get a picture of a phone. And then you get smaller text that says messages, but you get a picture of an envelope. So you can quite you can customise the phone up to what you need. You can change the text size as well and things like that. So it's very, very customisable. And um, I love the fact that you get lifetime software updates for it as well, which I think is a real, a real plus. So again, that is the... Um, uh, I've just turned the phone around to show it. Uh, the back of the phone, it's got the, the symbol on there that says blind shell. And that's the blind shell talking mobile phone. Okay. It's definitely one of my favorites for somebody that, you know, wants something simple uh, that does have those features that a smartphone has where you can use speech recognition that we wouldn't normally associate with a basic mobile phone. So it's nice. It my, if, if, if my SIM card goes in there, does my telephone number stay the same? It does, yeah. It certainly does. It certainly does. Is it okay if we move on to the last one? Yeah, the last you've got one, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, the last one. That's my front door. That, that's my front door. Is that your front door? Yeah, it <laughs> is. Right, your last one, um, I'll run through very quickly, is the uh, Mini Vision. So I'll let Louise quickly introduce that one. So the Mini Vision mobile phone. Um, so the the mini vision um, is the same same kind of style as phone as the, the the phone that Andrew's just shown. So it's actually not like a flip phone. It's just one one kind of solid solid phone. Um, it's the description from Sight and Sound is um, it's simple to use. It's a vocalized mobile phone that meets the needs for the less tech savvy and elderly users. That's Andrew, I think that's awful. It's calling the elderly users, isn't it? Yeah, um, I'm not, I'm not into spring, that. You've got all spring chickens on here. I know, absolutely. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, on top of an easy-to-use ergonomic physical keyboard and an accessible interface, the Mini Vision offers um, the phone function, messages, contacts, an alarm function, calendar, Calculator and FM radio. Um, it's got 
It says it's a small, light and elegant phone for a perfect grip. It's got a listed menu and adapted accessibility. Um, and it's got communication, so it'll do your phone, your messages and your contacts. Everyday life will can have your calendar, an alarm and calculator. Um, a vision aid colour detector, uh, which will do an announcement and det detection. It's got emergency calls and a geolocated text message via SOS quick dial button. And it's got FM radio. Um, and it's, so it's got an easy to use control pad that you can just use your fingers with. And it's also got voice commands to dictate text, call a contact, send a message, create a note and open any application. But internet connection is required for that feature. Yeah, a little bit similar to the the buy yeah. shelf. How much is it again, Louise? The price is one seven five XVAT. Okay, right. Yeah. So is that the current price now? Yeah, that's that's come. That's actually come down in price. Yeah, that's um, yeah, it's on the Sight and Sound Technologies website. Brilliant, brilliant. So this is this has really come down in price. So it is a really good bargain. Um, and actually, um, the one thing I'd say about this phone to all the others, this one's loud. So if you want a phone that's a little bit louder with the speech, this is quite loud. 1357. And you probably level 69% remaining. And actually the sound coming from it is quite nice. It's quite clear. And I'd say I'd say with the blind shell, I really like the blind shell, but the sound's a little bit tinnier. This one. The sound's got some boldness to it, especially with but this is a female voice on it at the moment, but it just sounds a lot bolder. Okay. You press your you press your you've got your keys at the bottom and they actually do light up as well, which is quite nice. Um but the keys are a lot smaller and comments I've had about this phone is that people find the numbers quite difficult to navigate. So you would have to play with it yourself to see how you got on. The numbers are quite narrow. But if you press your centre button, applications, phone. the text will scroll across if it's too small, if it's too big for the screen. I've got this set to a really large font. Contacts, messages, alarm, calendar, FM radio, colour detector, bank note recogniser, calculator, sound recorder, notes, flashlight. Weather, emergency, settings. So it's got, you've got all those menu items. I've got this with yellow text on a black background. Emergency, and it's got a really satisfying kind of tactic vibration as well when you use the menu buttons going up and down. So you can really feel the mechanics of this phone. It feels really nice when you, when you move up and down. If I go to um, phone, we can call a contact, so I'll do that. Contacts. Andrew Coleman, other. Carol, mobile. Dave, mobile. Home, mobile. John, mobile. I'll call John. So we can call John. I'll press the centre button. It's got the multi-directional okay. keypad as well, like the last phone. I'll press the centre button. Call contact. And that won't call because I've... I haven't got a SIM in, but that's just made the call. And what, but what you can do with this phone, like the blind shell, is hold the button at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Hold that for a little, for a second or so. Hopefully this works for me. Get it to work. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hang on a minute. Ah, right, okay. Right, let's try this again. Right. So you're meant to be able to, it worked for me before, you hold the, um, the top right-hand button for a couple of seconds and it's meant to ask you... Um, what would you like? What would you like to say? Who would you like to call? But for some reason, it's not doing it for me. So 
I have to, I have to figure out why it's not doing it. It was doing it before. But essentially, you're meant to be able to use your voice so you can say, uh, call this person or send a text message to that person or open settings. Um, you can do it with your voice. It's got the voice um, dictation uh, built in. Could be a problem with me internet, which is the reason why it's not um, why it's not why it's not doing it. I have to work. I have to work that out. But it does work. It does normally work. Um, it's got color detector. It's got some visual aids built into it as well. It's got your FM radio. When you type with the numbers, they're really big as well, which is quite nice. So they're quite nice when you when you when you do that. And again, because it's got it's got the voice assistant built into it. So when you type a text message or you read a text message, it's going to talk out to you as well. Um, and it's quite it's a smaller, more compact phone, I suppose. It fits in, just fits in the palm of my hand, really. I and mean, I've just got a picture of it in my hand there. So it is quite small. Um, but uh, again, it, hey, it's it's a good offer. One hundred and seventy nine pound XVAT. It used to be about £300 when it first came out. So that's quite a, a massive discount on it, really, um, if you're interested in it. So that's the uh, the Mini Vision, and that's the Capsis phone, and you can buy that from Sight & Sound Technology. And what we'll do with all these phones that we've demonstrated today, um, we will be putting this video, we'll be putting this up as a video on, uh, on YouTube, and um, we'll also be... Uh, able to send you out a little fact sheet um, with the phones in so that you can, you can, you know, you've got the links to them. So I'll send that via email to everybody that's on the technology um, or on our mailing list. And um, we'll put a link into that for you. Um, or if you're not on our mailing list, please let me know and we can make sure we get it, get it over to you as well. And um, if anyone's got any questions, uh, you can also get in contact with me at Galloway's or Jenny. Um, you can give us a call uh, on our on our Galloway's number, um, 01772 744148. You can also email uh, talkingtogether at galloways.org.uk. Okay, everyone, did everyone find that uh, useful today? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. really informative, actually. I've got one very quick question. Can yeah, you download? It, can you download different apps to those phones? So, yeah. say you wanted to put "Be My Eyes" on. Yeah. Onto yeah. the certainly the latter two. So at the moment, the 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 they're not as adaptive as the likes of say Synaptic, for mm -hmm. example. Um, these phones are very kind of locked down. Um, they're, they're, they're all, I believe they're all running a, a version of, of, of a light version of what we call Android. Um, yeah. it's very, they're, they're very locked down and they're very kind of inbuilt. So they're their own environment, really. So actually, yeah. I'm not, I'm not, not at the moment, no, but I do believe that in, you know, in the future, as they keep bringing kind of updates out for these devices, um, certainly with the blind shell. For me, the blind shell, probably, if you're looking for a phone with more bells and whistles on it, that's going to be supported more in the future. I'm not saying that all these phones aren't going to be supported because they all get software updates. But what I would probably say is the with the blind shell, um, that, that phone seems to be going from strength to strength. It's got a good worldwide market to it as well. So I think that's going to be really well supported in the future. There's always software updates coming out for it as well. Um, so that's my hunch. I think the blind shell's the most expensive one out of the four of them. Um, but, you know, also I would say the, 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 the Emporia phones are really nice as well. If you're looking for something more budget and if you don't need all those bells and whistles, you've got accessible phones at that lower budget end of the market as well. So there's, I hope that there's something there for everybody um, that's looking for an accessible mobile phone with uh, with buttons. So hopefully... You found that you found that useful. Yeah.